sure this is a recording in progress. If you need your stretch brand, grab it. Good evening. This is not my place. We're starting on the ground, lying on your back. Hold your knees into your chest. Starting session. We'll try to focus on your breath. It's cold. Tight, bring your knees closer together. Try to push the right knee out as much as possible with your right elbow.
sides. Let go of the right leg. Pull the left foot into your right elbow. Left knee into the left elbow like a baby. down. Focus on bringing your legs in and out. Or you're shaking your thighs in and out. Just keep moving your foot in and out. And do your best to open up your hips. So opening makes it more dense. Open more and bring your toes together makes it more dense. Focus on that. Focus on where your energy is going. Relax. Right foot straight up, hamstring stretch. If you need your band, you can use it here. Flex your toes and see if that deepens your stretch. Bend the right knee to your elbow, come into your chest, take it across your body, lower back stretch. Do not turn or position your hips. Focus on just taking that leg across your body. Every time you exhale, see where that leg wants to go and take it there. your body back center, take that right leg down, switching sides, left knee to your chest, and do your best to just take it across the body, do not move your right side, do not push back, do not push forward, focus on taking the left knee to the right.
coming to that center into a butt bridge hold. Rise it up. Try to lift that right leg straight up. Single leg, butt bridge hold. You're pushing away from the ground, not getting closer to it. Walk your hands to the right or left.
off your back center. Grab some water if you need it. When you're ready, stand up to the top of your mat. Bring your feet together. Sometimes it's hard to get your feet together, so bring your heel together. This is okay. Inhale your hands up over your head. Exhale, bring your hands to your side as you bend forward into a forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands to the top of your knee. Exhale, touch your toes or ankles. Now walk your feet back into plank. Two steps, one, two. Hold yourself up, push away from the ground. Focus on your breaths, clench or squeeze your butt and your belly together. Bring your knees to the ground, push back into child pose. up from that child pose, leaning forward over your hands, modified plank, down into push-up, all the way down, push yourself back up, modified push-up, all the way down, bend your elbows, push yourself back up, down again, I want you to focus on keeping your elbows as close to your body as much as possible. Push back up. Drop your head. Now you're in upward dog or cobra. You can walk your hands back to feel more comfortable. Try to let your legs hang back like a fish. Use your tail fin. Lift yourself up with your palms. Push back. Lift up, even if you feel tightness in your back, push back, squeeze your butt, see if that helps with your back pain, if you have it. Rise yourself back up again, tabletop position. Take your butt, drop it to the right heel. Bring it back center, drop it to the left heel. Bring it back center and repeat, right? Center and left.
come back to tabletop, tuck your toes, push back into down dog. Lift your butt up. The higher you lift your butt, the better. If you don't have that flexibility in your hamstrings, soften your knees. Focus on your breath, focus on pushing away from the ground. Push away, your shoulders will be fine. Just sit there, it will hurt. Push away. Now that your butt's in the air, walk your feet back to your hands. We're back to where we started, forward fold. Focus on your breath, relax, deepen or slow down your breath. Your body, do as it wants, follow your breath. away from your knee, lift your chest up, your butt's back, you're looking forward, you're opening up your chest, pull the shoulders back, whoops, you can soften your knees or push them all the way back. It's all based on your flexibility. Bring your arms back down and roll up all the way up. All right, let's repeat. Feet together. Deep inhale, lengthening your hands up over your head. Exhale, bring your arms back down to your side, falling forward.
your child clothes. Second water break if you need it. Standing back up, we're going to add on to that sequence. So, we're going to start this sequence off in a wide legged position. Repeat all of that we just did, but it's going to take too long. So, wide feet. Good. Now, from here, turn your left foot forward. Now, the left foot is facing this way. We may need to open up some more so take the back leg back so you're even wider. So you don't even have to go that far, just like that, just pop it forward. Good, now that you're there, we're not going to make this any harder. I just want you to put your hands on your hip and turn your hip to the front. Not this leg, your hip. Turn your hip forward. Keep your leg in place. Keep pressing your hip forward. See what that feels like. Is it hurting? Is it tight? Squeeze your hip forward without this knee tweaking forward. So push the knee back some more. Turn the hip even more forward. Focus on that. Get your hip forward. Get this knee back. Right, this left knee back, hip forward. Focus on that stretch. If you want to deepen your stretch, slide the back leg back. We don't need this going that way. We need this right here. Slide the right leg back to feel like you're in that stretch. Pull your hands out to the side. So now you're in warrior one. Now move your torso, this part of the body, forward and back. We're not moving legs and we're not moving hips. We're moving the torso. Reach forward, reach back. Squeeze your butt cheeks, squeeze your abs. Focus on the posture. Stretch out your torso, left to right. Reach forward, reach back. Forward, and back. Good, now that you're there, take the right hand and grab onto your right knee or thigh. Take this left hand, reverse warrior, lean back. This left leg is still not moving, it's in place like a trunk. You're focusing on your hips. Tweak the hip forward, squeeze your butt cheeks, pull the navel in and lengthen back. Bend that knee some more court. Right knee or left knee. Now from here, take this left arm all the way down to the floor. Now you're in a triangle pose. Almost in a triangle, this left leg, we're gonna press that knee back to straighten up the pose. As you're twisting, they call this half moon. So focus on the hips. Is it forward? Are you relaxing the back? Gotta pay attention to all these things at all times. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Lean that left knee back forward and turn your right toe facing the ground. Now we're in low lunge. If you're here in low lunge, press 
press your, your bottom up. Not your shoulder, but suck your lower body up. Like a, like a balloon. You're inhaling the helium. Suck it up. Bring this right knee down to the floor. Keep that left knee bent. You can do one arm or both at the same time. Rise up. Good. Now this right hand, tweak it forward. We're facing directly what's ever in front of us. Focus on your breath. Focus on reaching up with your arms. Grounding your knee to the mat. Whoopsie. Arms to the floor. Left butt cheek is burning. Push back. Lengthen this left knee backwards. We know this stretch already, so get as comfortable as you want. You can move your toes left to right to see how tight you are. If not, just keep focusing on getting your chest to your knees.
bring both hands to the floor and turn the back leg over and low lunge. Suck your belly up the lower bottom. Try to sit up in the child pose. You're sitting on your quads, not your quads, but your heel. So I'm sitting on my legs, heel. Stretch, slide the heel out to the side. You don't want to overstretch, you're going where your body is comfortable right now. If it hurts too much, come out of it.
take your right or left foot, slide one to the other side of the body. Stack your knee on top of each other. You can stay sitting upright or you can fall forward to deepen the stretch. sides. Last water break if you need one. Grab your stretch then if you have it nearby. One more time, if you're using a regular band, I need you to get your hands closer to each other. You still want to focus on working your muscles, not just not working them. It should be burning. It should be hard, not easy.
take that band or whatever you're using over your head. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, exhale back to center, exhale to the right. All you're doing is focusing on moving your torso. Your hands should be in line with your ears. You're focusing on your posture. with the band. On your knees. Right hand behind your ears. Elbow to wrist. Take it down to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale down. T spine twist. You're twisting from the side. Switching sides, relax, left side. Hands behind the ear, down to the right ribs. Back up. Elbows out with your breath. Exhale. 
exhale, tuck it in and roll forward. out of your, your hips. So try to lengthen your spine as much as you can. As you exhale, relax your shoulders down and back. Your arms are still over your head. Focus on your breath. to your chest and take a moment to be grateful for all the things you've been through this year, all the things you're grateful for this week, and just all the things you're grateful for just being where you are right now. to close out your practice, take a deep inhale, really soft and slow exhale. Bowing to each other. Namaste. Muchas gracias. Thank you. That went by really fast. <laughs> Uh, who's here for Thursday? <laughs>